Welcome back to Amino Acids Name Explained. The difference between cysteine, cysteine, and a whole lot more. In the mid to late 1800s, scientific discoveries shifted from France to Germany. In this new era of organic chemistry, German chemists discovered that by the addition of water molecules, certain compounds could be broken up. They coined the term hydrolysis for this type of reaction. The word hydrolysis is derived from the Greek roots hydro, meaning water, and lysis, meaning to unbind. As the name would suggest, these reactions involve the introduction of one molecules to loosen up chemical structures, usually with the help of catalysts like an acid or a base. Lysine derived its name from the products of this reaction. In 1889, German chemist Ferdinand Heinrich Edmund Fischel isolated the compound of the hydrolyzing caseins, the protein found in milk and cheese. Serine was found in 1865 when Emil Kramer isolated it from silk protein. Thus, serine comes from the Greek word sericum, meaning silk. In 1866, German chemist Karl Heinrich Ritalsen hydrolyzed wheat gluten and sulfuric acid and found a new amino acid. He named it glutamic acid after its source. Histidine was discovered by Ludwig Karl Martin Leonard Albrecht Kossel in 1896 after hydrolyzing a protein from the tissues of a sturgeon. Histo comes from the Greek word for web, like a spider's web and is used in medicine to describe a web of cells. Failing was isolated in 1856 by Austrian chemist Eugen Freiherr von Gerup Bessines from the extracts of the pancreas. By 1883, the substance was called amino valerianic acid after a similar compound called valeric acid because the two shared a common chemical formula. Valeric acid got its name from the plant Valeriana officinalis, whose roots are abundant with the substance. Valine, therefore, was shortened from amino valerianic acid. In 1883, a new amino acid was discovered after German chemists Ernst Schultz and E. Bouchard boiled sugar beet juice. They also found the substance in the extracts of wheat gluten. Later, its chemical formula was discovered to resemble glutamic acid, and the compound was given the name glutamine to identify it as glutamic acid's amide counterpart. Ernst Schultz, along with another assistant, Ernst Steiger, later discovered arginine. In 1886, they extracted a silvery precipitate from yellow lupine seedlings. Arginine got its name from the Latin word argentum, meaning silver. And finally, in 1884, it was discovered that cysteine could undergo an oxidation reduction reaction to yield two molecules of equal mass. Here was theorized, thus, that cysteine must have been a dimerized form of this new compound. The chemist thus named the compound cysteine to differentiate it from its dimerized form. Concurrent to the hydrolysis methodology, other scientists were synthesizing organic compounds in the lab. In 1850, German chemist Adolf Strecker developed a series of reactions that synthesized amino acids from carbonyl compounds like aldehydes and ketones. In his original experiment, Strecker reacted acid aldehyde with ammonium and potassium cyanate. The resulting compound was called alanine, with a first syllable referencing the aldehyde starter. Strecker then tacked on the suffix "-ene", to identify it as an organic compound. In 1882, German chemist Richard August Carl Emil Erlenmeyer used Strecker's method to synthesize a number of other amino acids. By replacing acetaldehyde with phenylacetaldehyde, 
He was able to synthesize a compound similar to alanine, but with an aromatic ring at the end. He called the compound phenylalanine. Earlier in 1879, Ernst Schultz had discovered this compound in yellow lupine seedlings, identified its empirical formula as C9H11NO2. In 1900, Jewish chemist Richard Martin Wilstadter synthesized an amino acid using an alternative to Strucker's method. Using malonic acid, trimethylene bromide, and ammonia, he was able to synthesize something he called alpha pyrrolidine carbonic acid. A year later, Hermann Emil Fischer found the amino acid naturally in casein proteins and shortened its name to proline. In 1803, German chemist Felix Erich isolated a substance after hydrolyzing hemoglobin, the protein found in blood. He found the new compound to have, sim to have similar chemical properties to leucine. Later, he used the Strucker method to synthesize the same substance using isovaleraldehyde as the precursor. Erich called the new compound isoleucine due to its similarity to leucine. Around the turn of the century, the link between amino acids and proteins was rapidly solidifying. The term amino acid itself was coined in 1898 from the German term aminosar to formally group all hydrolyzed products into a single category. The name was derived from the common backbone that all amino acids share. A nitrogenous amino group and a carboxylic acid group are bonded to a central carbon, from which a third veritable side chain branched out to give each amino acid their distinctive properties. Next time, we will dive into the relationship between amino acids and protein, peptide bonds, the genetic code, and the central dogma of molecular biology.